All right. Uh, cool. There's Courtney. Uh, so to get us started, um, not to uh, put anyone on the spot, but uh, Grandma Dorothy, if you're able to, uh, they dot side. Oh. And I own Tom. I hold Dorothy. I dot side Dorothy. Beg it on again. I own Tom. I hold it, but her ain't great coffee. He could say he must so get up. Go ahead, don't ya? Get go to tag. Eight more ham. Get Tom. Hundred county. Hundred eight arm. I gave all he could a he could hire a bag. When I own Tato. Spit all huddle. Bit all hot though. He go get quite on Zanma. The tide old in a ingo. Yamo hema. Did I get the quite on get a hide it? So the dot side a yendo. And in boats at the tide old they go get town, they get hide it. Hego, Inga, so the Gacon by a good day, Yamoheim. Oh, you do to a own tando, Inga, near the key that you. The tide of the Tokia, I get the day built the daughter, Inga Tate Moheim, Inga, go ahead, don't get my team key. Get sorted. I get to get sorted. On the only the and Aho. Aho. All right. Awesome. Uh, so let me just look at who we have in the room so far. Uh, so for our mentors, we have Grandma Dorothy, Grandma D, uh, Grandma Martha Nell, and Miss Velma. And then for our learners, we have uh, myself, Kathy, Max, Tim, Ramon, Courtney, and uh, Grandma D, is Aunt Carolyn with you? Oh, huh. awesome. And then we have Dane joining us as well. So uh, Dane just wanted to turn it over to you to see if you have any updates from the Kiowa Language Credentialing Board for us or just anything you'd like to share. OK, so uh, we talked about some of the updates from last week because uh, uh, last week we didn't have the full board, not last week, but several weeks ago, we didn't have the full board. So I kind of got everybody caught up with that. Uh, the main updating probably had to do with uh, uh, had to do with uh, getting level twos prepared for the pronunciation, which is reading those stories. Now, anybody who um, hasn't got level one, you could still do that. Like she was uh, saying before the meeting started, you could still do a lot of stuff that's level two without, you don't, you don't have to go through, jump through that hoop to get there. You could actually just go straight to it if you want to but you know when you do the level one stuff it kind of takes it a little bit piece by piece and uh, kind of slower so in the case of uh of tim um uh, for instance tim have you uh done any of the uh any of the pronunciation yeah we did so uh, I, I i can't remember what we did but we got okay uh like the main thing you might want to get uh, want to turn in because it doesn't take that long. I think in my class, it, it doesn't even take them. Uh, once they have the right right material and right stuff, it doesn't take maybe about 20 minutes, maybe maybe less than 20 minutes to um, record the pronunciation on the PowerPoint for pronunciation for level one. So uh, as far as things that you can do right now, uh, that's one thing that's not hard to do is do the pronunciation portion. 
So you can get that one done pretty quick. Now you got options for that. You can record it directly to the PowerPoint or you can uh, record your voice like on a voice memo on your phone or something and then record yourself doing every slide and then submit it either to me by email or if you go into those folders uh, where all that stuff is at there is a, I think there is an actual folder that where you can submit it at you just have to go through the folders and take a look in there but that's one of the first things you can do um, also if they have breakout rooms a good thing for anybody who's doing level one that's in here is to see if you can ask one of the te one of the um, candidates who already have their level one and ask them how they got through uh, that portion because everybody did turn in slightly different uh, ways that they did um, do the pronunciation piece so they can get some advice from them of how to do it because they've already done it before uh, so different um, different credentials that came through here that are now uh, they are now credential teachers, uh, they can tell you kind of how to do that. So that might be one thing. Whenever you come in, you could actually get some stuff done during these sessions in a breakout room somewhere, and and that'll give it an opportunity for any of the any of our teachers now to actually guide them through some of these steps. So since you're a teacher now, you can tell them, and you've had to go through it, you can tell them how to get through some of these steps and what's the easiest ways and any, any, any things, any barriers or roadblocks that you ran into and how, to, how you got around that, because everybody's gonna learn it a little bit different. Uh, everybody had to do, had to practice it a little bit different sometimes. So um, that's probably some, uh, good way to get it, get some of the stuff out of the way before we get to the interview. Now, we might have one in May. It just depends upon everybody's schedules and how many people can go. And I then, as I mentioned before, uh, the session started, it might be up to all the people who want to get credentialed that are in here because we got the largest number of credentialees in one place. Uh, to be able to see if they can decide on a date and we'll see if it fits with all the um, the rest of the board as as far as um, when to schedule this because we could do it earlier but it just depends on um, how y'all schedule work uh, how, or how y'all schedule works so um, that might be something within these next two let's see what do we got we're not not meeting next week but so we have the 22nd and the 29th have that to kind of decide in here maybe what for everybody as a getting credential for level one or level two on um, good dates that would work for y'all and then we can consider them with uh and we might need a little listing of who's kind of uh who's serious about getting credential during that time too so that we know beforehand uh say for instance last some last semester we had one that was open to all credentialees and two people came and then one seven people came so 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 we got a good amount of we know who's going to come and we can prepare for that as a board and how many people to uh, prepare for when we're when we show up there um and then i think that's about it so on april 5th we'll go ahead and take the vote and and uh, decide on a date so that leaves two more, uh, including this meeting, that includes the three meetings that you can kind of decide this on, but maybe that decision, we can really get it more finalized on the, at the end of this month. Uh, but to bring it up every time for, especially for those who couldn't be here tonight. Uh, anybody outside of that, of course, uh, um, we can kind of get a listing of them if they really want to come to it, then we can tell them the date. But like I said, it seems like priority is going to go to this group just because there's so many people here. That come and that this is going to make it so much easier for everybody. And Omaha, that's all. Wow. Awesome. Well, that's exciting. Um, so we'll. Uh... We can definitely kind of plan for that uh, scheduling piece, you know, when it gets closer uh, to figure out when. And we could also, um, like the later sessions, when we come back in March, we could also set up some study time and use breakout rooms again. Um, I know that really helps. So based on, you know, kind of what we want to work on and who wants to work on what, we can use breakout rooms and 
kind of pair up or get into groups and practice different things if that's what we want. Um, like one, one thing is I would love to uh, just practice reading those stories and have someone listen and just like react to it and like tell me like, how does it sound? Like, where can I improve? You know, that type of thing without feeling like pressure to read in front of our mentors. Because <laughs> I always get um, nervous in front of our mentors. I know I shouldn't be, but I still do. <laughs> but anyway, oh, that's just an idea. We did talk about that in there too. Um, when you do the readings, I mean, you can do that as many times as you want to, and as many submissions or redos as you want to with that, because you only get to you only improve every time that you read through something. So, reading through one submission, yeah, there's going to be errors and things in there. But if you do it five times, ten times, twenty times, it's just going to get better every time. So, the more times that you do those read throughs, the better it's going to be for everybody. Um, all the things that we have uh, do hopefully they most of them do have uh recordings that you can listen to uh kiowa speaker on they're actually saying those too so i would suggest all of those and maybe not something that doesn't come with the recording because um then you don't have that to actually um you don't have that to actually um uh shadow and it's called shadowing whenever you try to say a speaker after they speak and of course you're going to have to get used to listening to yourself as much as people don't like to listen to themselves talk in this case it's language and it has to do with how we enunciate and how we, um and what our tones are and, and if it sounds like the fl flow of how anybody who speaks kiowa speaks so you do have to kind of get used to your own voice I had to, it took a long time, but I, now, now I don't really care. So, um, but, uh, and when I did that, say for instance, I, I don't know how many times I've read the, that sun story over and over again, because it's kind of a short one and we don't, don't have a recording on it, but it was the one uh, stealing, the sun, that stealing the sun story. I remember just to listen to myself, I would read it over and over and over again. I, I'm sure I read it over 40 times and sometimes it's like maybe on the 20th time or something I was like hey that sounded way better than what I used to do because I just kept recording myself and the story like that only takes about two minutes to read through if that um, so if you read short stories you can kind of keep redoing and whereas you you read the longer stories that might be the only story that you do like with we we'll just mentioned that one called the captive woman that's a long story that one goes on for a while so when you do that one it might be the only story that you read because it's so long and then um and and again you kind of have to listen to yourself and listen to those parts in there and are you actually saying it um uh, why are you saying it with the flow of the speaker on there and of course you got different speakers some speak faster and and, and slower than others um but you're really trying to just catch the flow of how of how everything goes and what it what it feels like when you're saying stuff and you're not stopping, and it's just good practice because if you're speaking it, you need to you know you, that's shadowing and doing stuff like that is good practice, um, and that's basically a lot of level two stuff. But like I said, if you're doing level one, it's also good practice too for you. All right, Omaha, oh, that's all. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Um, and I think everyone in here should have access to the credentialing study material folder. I get like little alerts when I send the emails out and that link that Dane set up. Um, so all of you should have it, but just let me know if you still need access. Or let Dane know, because he can also give you access. Um, uh, let's see here. Any any questions for Dane or for any of our credentialing board members? We're very we're very blessed. If we're lucky, we have all of our credentialing board members here with us. Um, so we have um, a captive audience today. So does anyone have any questions or any anything you'd like to find out? Um, hi, this is Cricket. Um, I was wondering, did you get my story that I uploaded that I read? Because there's I one that you sent, huh? Let's see, 
I, I know you did it, one a long time ago. Yeah, it was a long yeah. time ago one. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. I have it. Awesome. Um, and then uh, Dane put his cell phone in the chat so you guys can get a hold of him. Um, okay, so for um, today, to prepare, I wanted to kind of go over the the lessons. We we did this a little bit last time, but just to kind of make sure we're all looking at the at the same material. Um, so you of course can ad lib if you want to, um, but for some of us, we may want to stick to the little uh, like the conversations in the lessons um, if you want. And we could, so I think we wanted to, um, okay, aho, Dane. Um, Dane had to hop off because he's got to work on grading papers for midterm. So uh, we'll catch up with Dane next time. Um, so what we wanted to do for our immersion today is to kind of get us in the mindset, I'll, I'm going to pull up the uh, documents that I sent out. And we'll look at them really quickly. We're not going to spend too much time, but we'll look at them together just so you have all of the ones that you're looking at. And then we'll start with, uh, we talked last week, um, uh, Cricket had the suggestion of starting off by having everyone introduce themselves in Kiowa. And instead of like saying, okay, next we'll go to, like we'll just keep saying, just we'll just stop talking English once we start the introductions. And then after every, all the, everyone and all the learners, I know we sent out that little uh, presentation, the little script that you can use. Um, I'd also, if our mentors are available and willing to, I'd love to have our, to hear our mentors introduce themselves as well, um, because that would be awesome to hear from each of you, how you talk about yourself and how you would introduce yourself um, if you want to. So. Uh, is that something that our mentors are able to do tonight for us um, here in a little bit? What do you think? Yep. All right. Uh, yes, from Grandma Dorothy. Let's see. Uh, oh, probably. <laughs> <laughs> okay, probably. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> see how you feel. <laughs> uh, Grandma D. Yeah, to take up time. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> we don't mind. <laughs> okay. And uh, Ms. Velma? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So so basically what I'll do, because I know we're all like virtually, if we were all sitting around a table, it'd be kind of easy to kind of go around. But what I'll do is just I'll kind of go in the order of how I see you on my screen. And so I'll just kind of, you know, uh, Let's see, what, what am I saying if I say uh, like, and you, like it's your turn. Is it not um? Um. No, um. No, um. So that'll be like, okay. Uh, so then I would say, your turn. you know, whoever's next after we finish your presentation, then I'll say, I'll say your name and I'll say not um. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Okay, so let's see. And then learners, uh, Tim, I know um, you probably, I don't just, you know, well, I just want to ask, is everyone on here ready to introduce themselves? Because if, if you are not comfortable, you're fine and we can, we'll just, you know, proceed. Uh, I don't want to put anyone on the spot or make anyone feel uh, pressured, <laughs> but it's good practice. So uh, I'm just going to call on each of us. So I'm willing to, I'm ready. Um, you know, I know I'll mess up, but it'll be good practice. So uh, I'm going to go on the screen to the learners. Uh, Kathy, how do you feel? You feel ready to introduce yourself? Oh, not yet, but I'm just taking a poll. Right, 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 right. <laughs> okay. So Kathy's uh, call. All right. Uh, Courtney? <laughs> okay. Ha. <huh? laughs> Oh, I couldn't get my tab down, huh? <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, Cricket? Ha, oh, all right. Cricket says ha. Oh. Uh, Max? Oh. 
Woohoo! I was uh, gonna say, we might get going. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Tim? Paul. Oh. All right. Uh, Ramon? Oh. <laughs> Hello. They own day. And Aunt Carolyn? Oh. All right. Awesome. Oh, Courtney's coming back in. Okay. Uh, okay. So sounds like we're all on board. All right, so now I'm going to, just for like the learner's uh, information, I'm going to share my screen and pull up the uh, information that uh, we shared um, that I sent out in the email, just so you all have the right papers. I know we talked about some of us have like sticky notes and notes and papers, so we want to make sure we have the right papers <laughs> to look at. So let me uh, share. Okay. Uh, let's see. My mug's always on there. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's the email that I sent out. Um, and all these recordings, uh, if you want to go back and listen um, to like the credentialing process, that's from February 15th right here. Um, so anyway, those are there. All right, so what I sent out, I sent out a bunch of handouts. So the first one, I'll start over here with our Let's Speak Kiowa. So these are the lessons uh, we were talking, we were using first, like earlier in the year, in the spring. Uh, these are from the OU course packet. And it's just the lessons um, from the first three lessons. So here's lesson one, and this is the language that we studied. Let me go to the next one, lesson two. And again, this is from the OU course packet. Here's the language that we looked at and we practiced. Hopefully you remember the conversations we had. Uh, lesson three. And we talked about how uh, we kind of changed this up. The the tot so be mon monha is a, more of a man to man. So we decided that for women, we would say to each other. Oh my gosh. Uh Hande own day a bone. Is that is that was that what we decided? Someone has notes in front of them. Oh, it looks like Hande own day and um but because this was a, a man to man phrase, we kind of changed it up when we got to the practice conversation. Um so that we wouldn't you know, we wouldn't have to use it if we're women talking. Um, okay, so those are the first three lessons. So hopefully you have those. Now, then remember, Dane came on board and he gave us updates on the credentialing. And he shared with us that PowerPoint that we're all going to use to do the conversations for level two credentialing. And so I took each of the PowerPoint, the lessons from the PowerPoint, and with Dane's permission, um, I put it in the format of the OU course packet. So here's level two, lesson one. So this corresponds with the very first slide in the PowerPoint that Dane shared with us. So here's your statements and your responses. And this is all about greetings. And so we practice this and then um, we practice these conversations here. So that's the first one. And then level two, lesson two is the one we did last week. Um, and this was on farewells. And again, here's the language that we practiced. And then we have our conversations here. Okay, so those are the five uh, lesson materials that we're working with. And that's, that's all that we're expected to use. And if you want, if you know other language and you wanna ad lib or, you know, have a conversation further on, feel free, but um, we're only going to be expected to use the, the language from these five lessons. Okay, so those are the lessons that we're using. Any questions so far? Okay. All right, so now we're going to look at the introducing yourself handout. So here's the introducing yourself. Hopefully, can everyone see this? 
I still see Paul. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Good. <laughs> Hyundai I'm psyched though. Hyundai. Um, so after everybody introduces themselves, then do you want to go straight into um like the conversations and and you'll just partner people up and just say it, you know, just say like Melody, Ga, Courtney, um, I don't know how you say lesson, but Faga, <laughs> on co, you know, something like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, just to yeah. Stay in there, or you know, whatever. When you just start on this one, or just show it. You could just show it, and then that's how we know who we're paired with, maybe. Yeah. So how we've been doing the the kind of practice conversations is we'll just have the list of everyone who's here, and then we'll just kind of pair up. But for, for our session, why don't we all just kind of pair up and before we start, we kind of pick the conversation we want to use. And I don't know, that might be like cheating a little bit, but I feel like it's our first time. So we're okay to have a little bit of leeway here, hopefully. <laughs> um, I don't know, what do you, or or I could just assign, assign people, but what, that kind of feels a little, I know I would be a little scared of being assigned to something. So um, I just wanted to, wh- which option do our learners prefer? I'm good with whether, whatever you give us, because that'll make me have to think. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so one vote for the first option. Who else? Um, Where's our option? So the first option for trying to figure out how are we going to make sure that we're uh, staying in Kiowa when we start our immersion session time here in a few minutes. So Cricket's suggestion, the first option was um, we can, after everyone introduces themselves, I would have the list of all of the names and then I would just pair everyone up and give everyone like assign them. All right, learn Kiowa level two, lesson one, conversation one. Oh, like kind of assign people that. Or the second option is we could assign ourselves, like we can pair up now before we start immersion and then pick who we want to have a conversation with and tell them which one we're going to be, we want to work on. So I like the first one. (laughs) Okay. Um, Thank you, Kathy. Uh, Max, what do you think? Oh, I'm I'm fine with either. Awesome. Uh, Tim? Oh, just whatever you guys decide. Oh. Oh, there's Courtney. Uh, Ramon, what do you think? Um, Either or. Okay. Uh, and then Courtney, I don't know how much you heard. Uh, did you hear the option one or option two to kind of get organized for the immersion session? Hey. Oh, let's see. Can you? Okay. Oh, there you Sorry. are. Okay. It's it's okay. It's okay. fine. I can hear you. Okay, I did not hear the the options. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no problem. We're just trying to figure out how to how the best what the best way would be to kind of get organized for the immersion session in a few minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, so we were talking about how does everyone feel if I write down the list of names like we usually do in the chat, and then I pair everyone up based on the list, and then I just assign you know each group. Um, one of the lessons, one of the lessons, and then one of the conversations. So like, I would say, uh, I don't know, Courtney and Kathy, uh, and we would put this in the chat. You would have level two, lesson two, conversation option one. And then that's what you would use for your, just so that we're not like, break. we don't, we want to minimize breaking into English is kind of what the goal Uh is. So, Uh That was the first one is I would just assign everyone or we could have people pick and choose themselves. And so we were just all kind of voting. And it sounds like most people are fine either way. Mm-hmm. So 
What do you think? <laughs> yep. Either way is good with me. The... Okay. Awesome. Uh, and then I see uh, Nelson, Hyundai owned a and bone. They own day and son. Oh. So Nelson, we are just getting ready for, uh, we're kind of going over the logistics for our immersion session. And I don't know if you heard the option I gave to Courtney, um, but uh, how do you feel if I just assign everyone um, a conversation buddy, and then I assigned the conversation out of the five lessons that we've studied. Sure, I'm I'm open for anything. Okay, it's fine with me. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> nice. All right, it'll be good practice. Um, and let's see. Oh, I just saw um Miss uh, what I saw Miss Marion on. She might be trying to log in. Oh, there she is. Hi, Miss Marion. They own the aim son. Um, oh, hey, guys, son. I saw a And call you Marilyn Soy Bay. Really? Oh, hey, guys. Y'all remember John, John Slow? John? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, awesome. So, uh, Ms. Marion, we were just going over our options. We're getting ready to uh, start our immersion session. And when we start our immersion mm -hmm. session, we were going to have everyone introduce themselves. And so us learners, we're going to use this little script that we sent out and we've been practicing. But um, for our mentors, um, all of the mentors here so far have agreed to introduce themselves as well, you know, just in, in Kiowa, their own way. So. Ms. Marion, would you be willing to introduce yourself also when it comes time? <clears throat> oh, that's okay. what tone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh. Oh. Okay, so, so now we're just getting organized here to get started. Um, so the other thing that everyone should have handy, all the learners, is your help phrases. Um, yeah. So I made this little, we made the changes that we had talked about, was it last week on this little handout? Um, and then the, the help phrases, I just reworked this document to make it more user friendly so that, like, for instance, my kids could read it easy. Uh, and yeah, so anyway, but this is um, so we can stay in you know, Kiowa and our cues are here to tell us, okay, once we say this, we're not going to say anything in English. And if we accidentally slip up and say something in English, we all have to ignore it. So we just got to pretend if anyone accidentally speaks in English, we're not going to respond to them until they speak in Kiowa, or at least I'm not going to. So, because that's what I've done with uh, students in classes that I've had before. <laughs> Oh, I just I just don't acknowledge it until they actually speak in Kiowa. So if we accidentally slip up, we're just gonna move forward. And so use your help phrases basically. And then when we end our session, um, and I'm gonna set the timer, and we want to try to go for 30 minutes. You know, so I'm gonna set the timer, and once we hit the 30 minute mark, um, I'll say this phrase, and then that'll tell us okay, we can we can start talking English again. <laughs> So, uh, so that's the immersion session setup. Um, any questions about the help phrases or the cues? Okay. The last thing um, is I also just printed off this handout, which is just the three phrases that we are using for our cues for immersion sessions. Um, okay, so any questions before we get started? Okay, no questions. Um, all right, let, let me, uh, let me stop sharing.
Uh, also, when so I kind of want. Let me stop sharing. Um, if you're comfortable using the camera, I encourage you to use the camera, especially for us learners. Um, but if not, I mean, it's up to you. But I would encourage you just because it feels more like we're sitting around a table together over in person. Um, the other thing is I need to write down everyone's names so that we can kind of get organized here. So uh, let's let's look here. Um, order, let's see. Uh, and then uh, during the immersion session, so um, uh, for our mentors, so Grandma Dorothy, uh, Grandma Martha now, Grandma D, Miss Belma, Miss Marion. Um, so I would love to have you you all, you know, jump in um, as we're talking. We, I don't know if you want to have conversation, if we can listen to all of, if you're comfortable, all of y'all, the mentors having a conversation with each other in Kiowa. Um, you could talk about how you're grading us I don't know <laughs> whatever you want to talk about <laughs> but um is is that something that you would be comfortable doing like just to kind of y'all have a uh, having a conversation with each other so that we can just kind of listen how to how you're interacting with each other um what do you think mentors good mm -hmm. <laughs> good good Let's try it Okay, okay. So do you, do y'all want to do that um first like after the introductions first before um us learners start doing our conversations or do you want to do do it after the learners have our conversations? Would you just want it all in Kiowa or do you want us to come to say it in in English too? Ha, oh, all in Kiowa. Only Kiowa. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather do it home or not. Yeah, yeah, go to, yeah, go to on the go. Go to the yeah, yeah, ha, baby, and I own time. I say, oh, say, ain't gone. They get a commode on key and and a bottle. And I talk beyond ya. He got hanged, though. Don't keep he got go to Zelby. Hats of man failed, though. He got go to. He got go to. He got eight. Can't then they him go good. Hun on a day him or gang ya. Mm -hmm. Again, I, I, uh, again, to Hunde get some though. He got, he got, get going, bro. Go to Tag, yeah. I don't know, five all day. I said, I love to sing. I used to in the old days sit at the drum. But now my my voice has gotten old and I'm losing my voice. Old age is not something you really look forward to just on account of your age. But I'm happy every time it comes to daylight time because it's another day that you can enjoy. Oh, Baho. Oh, Baho. Awesome. Um, so that was awesome. Um, I think uh, what would be helpful is if uh, we turn it over to our mentors. So uh, Hatsuana Thongya, mentor. <laughs> mm -hmm. So so if I said, um, like if I said, your turn, mentors. Hatsuana Thongya, na am ma. Mate, ma, because they're women. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all ladies. So you have to specify. You can't just say, "I seen where somebody puts." I'm goy. 
to my kaiwa, it's a no-no. You just don't say, I'm koi. In English, oh. you would say, I'm kaiwa. But in kaiwa, you have to specify. You have to mm -hmm. say, yeah. koi ma ado. Or koi ki ado. Koi kiahi. You have to specify. And that's what, mm -hmm. that's the difference in kaiwa. You have to go into, say, motema, teacher woman, mentor woman. Mm -hmm. You got oh. ma on there. It's my kawa now. If you if you guys have it, there's many ways. You can back up, and you're still not wrong if you say it some other way. That is just my kawa. Oh, um. Let's see. So I'm looking at our participants. So I'm trying to get everyone uh, paired up. So me Play and again. Carolyn. Let me see how it sounds. <laughs> what I said. Play it again. Let me see how it sounds. Sound like a man now. Oh, <laughs> you sound fine. We can understand you. We can hear you. Um. So when I'm saying, uh, if when I say, uh, so what? How would I say Hatsunatonga? Now you mentors, no, no, it wouldn't be no um. How do you say all of y'all? No um. Grandma Martinelle, what do you think? How would we say it? I don't want to hog it, but you just go to the next one and call their Indian name. Then, um. Oh. <laughs> you don't know the Indian name. Hog it. Well, I have a. Uh, I have almost. I don't think I actually. I could probably find all of y'all. <laughs> but um, but how would I say? How could how could we say uh? So if we say matema, is that what did you say? Um, like feminine teacher, I guess. Female teacher. This matema key will be a male teacher. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. And we're all the we are females, I think, or so. We're just gonna be lost. So, do I need to say plural since there's more than three of y'all? How did we know what mentor meant fifty years ago? <laughs> <laughs> it has to be more tame. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Would it be more tame? Yeah. Tame. What's the plural of ma? Ain't I right, Martha? Did yeah. Work? That's, yeah, you, know, you gotta say, first of all, who you're talking to. Ponte. Is it no, my yoke? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. My yoke? Is that? Yeah. It's and plural. It's my yoke. Okay, so. My tame, my yoke. Oh. Stay point. And, Stay point. All of us together. How'd you say that? What What is that? I said they poi together, all of us. Will be my they, my own. Could you spell that? But if one would just be ma, you know, in and ma. Ma is more easy. I mean it's a more simple and my <laughs> my yoke will come <laughs> later. Ma, ma, ma yeah, ma is singular, so you're just talking to whoever is the person. one person. Um, but if I want to say, like, for what I want to do is I'm trying to find a word or a phrase to say, <laughs> okay, all of y'all mentors, we're turning it over to you to talk with each other. So it's your turn now. Like, then you, y'all can do whatever you want to do so that we can hear y'all talk to each other. Um, so, ma te ma yoke de, de boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, de boy. De boy. They, 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 like, all uh, of you, like TV, all of you, all breakthrough, of you. Mm -hmm. all of you, yeah, they, the, for the strike, 
Okay. They, boy. They, boy. Pure. Is it popped P? You oh. would say matom, matem, matem, mayo, haya baku, baku to, honey. Haya baku to. Yeah. <laughs> Start talking. <Yeah. laughs> You're making it difficult. It's just, it's very uh, simple. Melody, I think the problem is you want to say Motema before each one of us. I don't think you need to do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You say Motema, Mo, Vako, Don King. And then you name, I mean, you know, I'm just, I mean, you know, I, it sounds, I don't think you should say Motema, Grandma D, Motema, whatever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can if you want, but, but I just think it's making it harder. I got mixed up. <laughs> so yeah, you said, so Hayaba Kodoki. Donkey, she said. Donkey. Oh, donkey. Sorry. Donkey. Donkey. Hayaba Kodoki. Donkey. Don't? Is it like don't? Like talking? Uh huh. Talking. Yeah. Don't you? Don't. Don't. Just say my time, my Mahaya Bako. Go ahead. Mahaya Bako, don't key. I can say an English word Boy. two times and get mixed up. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I think we're spending an awful lot of time with us when we're really the, the, these. Uh, Candidates or teachers that need to at least we ain't singing. They need to have put us at the end. <laughs> okay, that's why, oh. that's why when you originally oh, asked, oh. I said, said honk. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, awesome. Well, I appreciate that. Um, see, mm -hmm. I'm learning new new phrases here. This is good. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh -huh. All right, so it'll be me and Aunt Carolyn, and then it will be Kathy and Courtney. Um, Cricket and Max, is that okay? Um, okay, and then Tim, oh. wait, hold on. Do we have an odd one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? We have nine. Uh, hmm. All right, well. Maybe one of the elders could go with uh, one of these guys. Last one, Nelson. So Ms. Pula or, or Miss Velma. Would one of y'all like to uh, be a buddy with Nelson? Mm -hmm. That would be fine. Okay. So yeah. Nelson, you're with Grandma Martha. Yeah. So um, to talk. Okay. Okay, so let me copy this again and I'm going to rewrite it and I'm going to put our little assignments, just make it easy. And we're just going to go in order of the lessons because I can't think anymore unless someone has a better idea. So uh, me and, and Carolyn will have lesson. Lesson one, conversation. Uh, where is it? Sorry, I had it up. Uh, but this is good. You know, we're working out the process. Eventually, we'll, uh, you know, we'll have it down for the next time. It'll go a little smoother, hopefully. All right. So we'll have conversation. Uh, well. <laughs> That's a short one. <laughs> Let's go back. Can you put it on screen? Which one you're looking at for the yeah. lessons? I was just going to go like lesson one, two, three, like in order, you know, but mm -hmm. I mean, we could. That's fine. It's just this is a this is a short one. <laughs> so trying to find out where that is. Uh, OK, it's, it's a let's speak Kiowa lesson one. And then 
I just okay. want to the conversation right here. Okay. And so, and Carolyn, what do you think? You want to just do this uh, this conversation layout thing here? Yeah, just do it. All right, I'm typing it in the chat. So it says conversation. Uh, I think everybody should just say what uh, they feel like and go. Oh, Grandma, uh, I uh, wish I could. I want to. My heart <laughs> wants to, but my brain is crying. <laughs> hey, uh, Melody, you okay. know on that... Um, practice one that you have put together the learn kiowa.org kiowa conversational practice conversation mm -hmm. option one option two yeah what if we just go back and forth on those two okay we could yeah but that'd be easier actually yeah because that way you guys do that one then that one and then go and just go back and forth like if you yes. guys do that one okay. and courtney does the second one and max and i'll do the first one and then the and Whoever's after us, they'll do that one. It'll just go back and forth. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna write it down in the chat. Uh, so let's see. Learn Kiowa lesson so one. Can you put that on screen so they can see what it is? Uh, yes, you... it's right yeah. here on screen. I think, can y'all see oh. my screen still? Oh, wait, where did I go? I lost you. Oh, there you are, okay. Level two, lesson one, greetings, and then the conversation. Yeah. So me and, and Carolyn will have option one here. And then and then Kathy and Courtney, you'll have um option two here, this one down below. Let me scroll to that one. Uh sorry, I'm typing it in the chat because I'm gonna hit enter and then we'll have it all. Okay. Have it all in here. Um okay, so conversation option two and then cricket and max will go to over here to the lesson two um so cricket and max we're in kiowa lesson two conversation option one and then tim and ramon you'll have this option two, um, lesson two, conversation option two, and then um, Nelson and Grandma Martha. I have what? Um, well, what do you, what do y'all think about doing this one right here? Yeah, that's good. We'll do that's it. where you just that's that's a little more tricky because it's just the responses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, so that'll be I love lesson two conversation response practice. All right, hitting enter. There it is. All right, are we ready? Oh. Hey Tim, <laughs> you got your sticky notes? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so for our introductions, we're gonna go in the order of the learners. Um, I'll put it right here on in the chat also, um, introductions. All right, here we go. Do I have everyone? Me, Aunt Carolyn, Kathy, Courtney, Cricket, Max, Tim, Ramon, and Nelson, All right? <clears throat> All right, so that's our order. So now we are going to start. So we're going to try for 30 minutes. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I'm going to pull this up on screen. Hopefully you can see it. All right, let me, uh, I'm going to zoom in here. Okay, everyone ready? I feel like we're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Launch, you know, okay. <clears throat> ah, cool. Boy, but a coy thongs on it. Ah, cool. Ah, cool. Hunday, on day, aim bone. 
Hyundai in Edelta. Melody Redbird Post of Khan, Gong Gida Gima Akoi Khan, Clinton Gia Akiro, San Diego Gia Akia, University of Oklahoma Gia Agut on Gia, Anga Taiko Neda, Aruta Gui Ga, Seda Peta Ga, Redbird. I say, Hande on the back sun. Hey, go by oi bong ta. I got him to ye, Obaha. Aunt Carolyn, no, um. Hande on the in bong. Hande aim dadle ta. Carolyn Kale a con. Carnegie at Norman Gia Akil. Carnegie Gia Akia. Oklahoma University University Gia Akut Anke. Anga Thate Goat Neda. Toy Bada Ga Seda Feta. Hande on de Bat Sun. Hega Ba. Oi bon da Obaha. Oh. Tell you, did you say that? We're not traveling, we're all home. What if the other person's going to travel? Aho, Kathy, not um. Uh, Anko, Hyundai, Hyundai, I'm bone. Hyundai, I'm Dadle Da. Kathy Dickerson, Aka. A Goy Con. Oh, wait a minute. Apple Ma, a Goy Con. St. Louis got a Giddle. St. Louis, Oklahoma, a Kia. Yeah, a Kia. Uh, Silverhorn, Hongu, Ga, Saint Boy, Day, Ah, Ga, Tonki, Ma, Ga, Day, Go, Nay, Da, Honde, Onde, In San, Oh, there you are. Huh, hey, got him, Oi, Bonta. They don't, I mean, come on, they want to sit around here. Ah, yeah. Aim, oh, toe ye, Obaha. Good. Aho. Courtney, not um. Okay. Ah, co. Hande on day and bon. Hande and tero to. Courtney so tired holer a con. Da bean a goy con. Morgia a giro. Morgia a kia. Okay. University of Oklahoma gia a gupa. Hande and side to. Ha so ha. Hande. Uh, let's see. Sorry. Uh, University of Oklahoma Gia Agupa. Um, ha so ha. Ha. Okay. Anga take go ne da kodasi ga sotai. Hande on de batsan. Hega ba oi bon da. I got aim ho aimed o ye. I got aimed o ye, Obaha. Oh. Oh, aho. I mean, damn. Cricket, not um. Um, okay. 
ha. De on de ba san. Han de on de ba bon. An ko. Han de im delta. Cricket a con. Hain de ma a goi con. Goi ma ga se ma da. Uh, Norman kya kiro. Tulsa kya ia. Latin kya a ta san. Western Heights kya kya sa te ta. University of Oklahoma kya a kut ba. Rhodes ga kiabong ga Henry tape go ne da. Samaroy ga Saint Sean ga Tsotama Hyoin ne da. Oboyang e a da. Um, uh, Jana, Jana Butler Rhodes ga ain da. Uh, Roger Rose Thottle ain da. Um, Carol Henry Butler, Taki ain't da. Um, hey, Gaba, oi, bon, da, aho, obaha. Oh, aho. Max, no, um. Oh. An ko, honde onde ba oi bon, honde ba tero da, max a kan, koi kan hen a da, guse tan gya a kil, de hane gya a kia, James Madison University gya a kut ba ga, University of Maryland gya a kut an gya, University of Oklahoma get sat they dot oh. Engo deep go nado Yamane cope dog go o gawa o ill. Honde onde but son. He go ba oi ponto. Tage but to ye. Obaha yanto zan ma. Aho. Tim, no um. Oh, ah, come. On the on the aim, bon. On the aim, they don't thought. Timothy, I can Newcastle, Gaia, Gaia Key. Oh, so hard. Kiel. Kiel. Kiel? Mm-hmm. Kiel. Yeah. Uh, uh, Kiel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Newcastle, yeah, a uh, Kiel. Newcastle, yeah, a Kiel. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Carnegie, yeah, a uh, Kiel. Oh, so hard. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. Swasu. Kya a kut on kya ho so ho. Ain ga tape go ne da tanada ga kuitong ho so ho. On day on day ain't sa. Oh, wow. Oh, get out here. Oh, ah, who? Ah, who? Ah, so. Yeah, I'll Rama. <laughs> Ramon, no, um. Oh, <clears throat> ah, who? Honde on de babon. Honde baterto. Ramon, a con. Go kuto hin tali a koi kong. Carnegie kia a kil. Go <clears throat> fry red flats kia kia. Uh, 
<clears throat> School of Hard Knocks, yeah, good on, yeah. Goitong, get don't to a sort it to. What's all her? Ain't got tape go me door. Sit bohudo, go hang door, go toke a mo, go gone to hot. Go, uh, any so ye go Canada go, uh, hmm, dogma go, uh, more so all, more so all, uh, on the only but sang go, uh, he go by oi bonto, tie game ho to ye, or tie game to ye, Obaha Nyato Zanma. Oh, ah, uh, oh, stay on day. Nelson, oh. not nah, um, ah, uh, cool. On day, on day, but bon. On day, on day, but delta. Nelson, ah, con. Tonky, ne, ah, go, a con. Wichita Mountains area, yeah, ah. Uh, Kilo. Which town mountains area get a kia IHS get get saw they to ain't got ain't got take go they do same tonky go zip create they take go they do on the on the but song he got about way about the ah yeah aim told ye. Uh, Obaha. <laughs> oh, it's get aga. They own they. Aho. They own they. Go by that. Oh, Anko. Grandma Dorothy. Uh, okay. No, I'm. Um. Hunde own they, but don't zan, ma. Like my brother Dixon Palmer say, hey, go about Haiga. Haiga. Ah, cool. Hate the goo, but good goo. But good goo. But good Go screen share. Put the writing on there, but good oh. goo. <clears throat> I'm telling you to put the film on there. But good. Oh, he's really on the on the in boom. On the in theta stuff. Do tiger on tiger ma a koi con. Dorothy White Horse at a koi con. A kill, I see. And a dark cook, yeah, kill. So good, yeah, a kia. St. Patrick's go, and a dark cook, yeah, a good on, yeah. On eight, 1951. Ego thick cook, nado. Monte and take, yet they do, ink about cool day. They get thick, they do. But they go a kick on Baba do. On the only aim son. A go boy, boom, do. I got a toy, the dog able tied, old. I hope. Oh, aho. Anko. Grandma D? No, um. They are the bubble. The Lord, uh, the Lord's toy bow. 
University of Oklahoma and get good more a good bar go get a good park get all your they all day big all day they all day but go and more they cold Toy border, go say the big the tape coat needle. Over her. They go by all the bone though. Oh, I hope. Can hardly read the written word. <laughs> Miss uh, <laughs> uh, uh, cool. Miss Marion, not um. Let me see. I'm cool. On the only my mom. On the only go on the and they will talk. Total toy. So I can't go. Marion, Colity, Hanson, go, go, I don't, those boy, I can't. And they keep Washington, D.C. area, so I get Go, Fort Cobb, Oklahoma, so like, yeah. Go Fort Cobb, Oklahoma, University of Science and Arts, Chickasha, and University of Oklahoma. So, yeah, good. So, get good. Um, uh, yeah, good. Uh, yeah, good. <clears throat> no, they go. Yeah, oi. Go. He hung toe, go pump below coy, go collate, go get oi, so no, they go get no. On the own day, on the own day. But son, go my bone. Hey, go, but oi, bong, do. I get on. I get so by, but do, and do, be at, be at home. Oh, ba, ho. Good. Ha, ha, ho. You're not trying to do it. I get so toy, 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 but do. Grandma Martha. Oh, Martha now call a pua a con. Ogukoma a goi con. Norman Gagil. Carnegie. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, Carnegie, uh, the University of Arts and Science, yeah, a good, uh, get, get, yeah, good pop, get, uh, University of Oklahoma, get, get my team, uh, now they go, um, my go, 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 and call it, uh, go, call by a dog. On the only day, but son, he go by oi, boom, I forgot what was under that. Me too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get by toe ye, Oh, yay! Day on day. 
Oh, uh, my goodness. Y'all are it, almost related. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, you might uh, not want to be related to me, but you are. <laughs> uh, I come from Tohosan, and I come from Mamante, the Skywalker. I come from Saint Ida. I'm I'm a pure blood. They were both pure blood. My mother and dad. They have many descendants. I'm just telling mine. But I'm a my my siblings and I were pure Kiowa. I can't get much great great baby on the road. I'm gonna <laughs> lament that all my life. Oh, I hate so. that. Um. Miss Velma, ah, uh, co, not um. Ah, uh, co. When they own the bubble, when they am telta, Velma Dumbo Eisenberger, I can. I always got down tie, I go I can. Um, more get a kill. Stecker, Oklahoma, get a kia. Um, Oklahoma College of Liberal Arts. <laughs> that was the name of the school when I was there. Eh? <laughs> go, uh, go Arizona State University. Eh? Uh, good, um, ba. Hotola. Oh, good. Uh, good, ba. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Ain't go. Tape go. Hongu go ton bot. On the own day, but son. He go, he go boy, bon to. Tagai de. Tagai de. Tagai de. Um, em to ye. Obaha. Oh, ah, who? They on day. Ah, co. Hate that. And Carolyn, ah, co. I like the sounds. I like the uh, their. I like the way that everybody presented. You talked pure Kiowa. You sounded Kiowa, all of you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. I have been with the uh, with the school in Chickasha for the last eleven years, teaching Kiowa. <laughs> Oh. Uh, a ho. Okay. Hey, the Aunt Carolyn, ah, uh, co. Oi. Tonga. Han and Boma. Ah. Na ah. Hande on day and oi son. Ha, I'm out. Uh, they on day and oi bon. Na ao, a on time. Ha. Obaha. Anko. Cricket ga Matt or Heta. Kathy ga Courtney. Oh, Anko. Honda on the ain't son. Is it Courtney? Courtney. Ha, oh, I'm saddled. Hunde on the aim all day. 
call. call. Stay. Stay. I got it. Not a lot on time. On day, on day, and phone. Ha, I'm out. Ha, day, on day. Uncle. Cricket, golf, mat. Hey, talk. Okay. Uh, cool. Um, they own the aim sun. Oh. They own the aim sun. Oh, I'm all. They own the aim off day. No, all. On the own time. Uh. Hate the one year high ago. Uh, be good day dog. Ha, honey. No, okay. Be good day dog. Oh, I'm all. Hey, go, I'm oi bon dog. Oh, hey, go, I'm oi bon dog. Oh, get ag. Uncle. Uh, Tim Ga Ramon. Oh, uncle. <clears throat> Oi, Tonga, honey, and bomb, ma. longer time ago. Him. He, he had a note. He stepped out for a while. Oh, not out of mute. Oh. Hunde on the amoy bon. Oh, not out. He got him oit on tat. Oh, not out. I game ho to ye. I game ho to ye. Ha oba ha. Hey ta. Ha he got a oin bone ta. Ha he got a oin bone ta. Ha. Get ag. Anko. Nelson got. Grandma Martha. Are we doing that response for? Oh. Okay. Um Hunday all day am oi son. Oh no. Um Hunday all day am all day. Oi all day. Oh, not so. Uh by goo. What was that again? Begu. Begu data. Begu data. Begu data. Yeah. We don't say that all the time. Uh, um, I'm, I'm all. How do you know him? Oi, Bong. How do you know him? Oi, Bong. I get him. Ho, to ye. Oh, no, um, I'm all. Uh, hey, go, I'm all you Oh, I'm all. Hey, go, I'm all you don't Oh, hey, go, I'm all you don't talk to. Oh. Melody, that speaker A, why is that uh, written like that? I thought it was way over there or something like that. Oh, why is it written like that? Hey, Tom. Um, 
Uh, Why is it written like that? It's is it because like to that. say it way out, like a drag it out, maybe? Mm. It's saying this one right here. Yeah. Ooh, Tonga. Ooh, Tonga. Tonga. Her name is Tonga. That's why I laugh. Because it's. Ooh. You know, Tonga. You stretch yourself. That's Kaiwa. Ooh. 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 Oh. There, see. Oh, yeah. How how do you say it? Ooh, tongo, honey, it's oh. it's a it's a prompt to uh to get the the person who's reading it to remember yeah. in Kiowa. It's ooh, <laughs> but <laughs> it's e, to make them think e, about e, it. E, uh, uh, what is that? It's just trying to say the same thing, but in English, like trying to uh -huh. get people to. Remember how that in Kiowa, it's it's you have to draw it out. You know. Right. Ooh, Tonga, honey, boma. Honey, monkey. Let's see. Koi gu a ki de na on ki. Ooh, go toy. That means way over there. But I oh. never heard. Yeah, Tom. <laughs> That is Kaiwa. I heard it spoken like that. Oh. Hey, but Koi Tanzani. Boy, but a Koi Tanzani. Oh. My team, my yoke. Hi. Hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. Ko. Don't he. I come. But koi tozani, hunta koi badoma, is what our grandmas used to tell us. Oh. <laughs> You're a kaiwa. <coughs> there were actually people that didn't want to. And, and y'all are just so courageous for taking it and learning it. It's hard. I admire y'all for it. And so many men, just as much as the women. In my young days, it was mostly Kiowa women. The men wouldn't try nothing like. Pay, pay, pay. I said, I'm proud to be kin to all of you. You all come from fine families. <laughs> And I'm not buttering your lip. I'm just saying my thoughts. Oh, oh I'm subtle. <laughs> uh -oh. um. <laughs> Grandma Martha. Oh. Eight but goitons on me. Oh, on day but. On day and don't die. I'm all in Koi. But Koi to Lani. And it said, boy. Boy, but Okoi to Lani. Yeah, boy, but Okoi to Lani. Morning, Okoi Yama. It said, trying to act like a white. How do you act like a white? <laughs> But I'll call my mom, but Yeah. I tell my daughter, I I hate it that when I hear somebody say, so put ma. And all it says is, oh, this means you're tearing it. <laughs> and there's a, there was a Kiowa word for it when it say, hey, good about sa. <laughs> that actually translated it means you tore it. <laughs> but this generation doesn't know the old slangs like that too much. Kaiwa oh. is re real humorous. Mm -hmm. it's, 
it's funny without really making fun. It's humorous toward you. Supposed to be. <laughs> oh. Obaha get goitong zanma. Okay, I'm going to talk English again. Where's the sun at? 822. Oh, we have eight minutes left. I hope. So uh, for our uh, mentors that are listening, how do we do? Do you have feedback for us? I think real good. Yeah, I think you all did good. You pronounced pretty well. Ditto on that. Practiced. I'm proud of you for your... Uh, Willingness to take time to learn your language or Kiowa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope. Uh, now, oh. I have a question for Max. Max. On day. Did I understand you uh, to say that you're going to be working at OU? Oh. Okay. Oh, damn, day. <laughs> I yeah, I'm gonna come bother you. <laughs> oh please, Dorothy, if you want to talk to my classes, we would love to have you anytime. Max, Max, you, you have a name, Kiowa name. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Bevo. <laughs> What's that? You know the uh, what? What is your name? What's your name? Bevo. Bevo. <laughs> Bevo? It's a nickname. Oh, Bevo. <laughs> you know Bevo. Tell them the story. Dang. Well, I was going uh, with Kenny. Uh, we were going through the Wichita Wildlife Refuge, and he was teaching me some Kiowa names. And so we see some uh, some buffalo. So he goes, Onkapi. And so I kind of repeat, Onkapi. He goes, Haw. So we uh, keep going. We see some elk. And then he says, oh, gooey. So, so I'm repeating, oh, gooey. He looks at me again, haw. So then we come up to this uh, herd of cattle and um, there's this cute baby calf that keeps coming and it was in the way. And so he goes, bevo, bevo, bevo. And so I go, oh, that must be the word for cow and Kiowa. And he smirks, he goes, haw. <laughs> and so I told the elders uh, the next day and I think it was... Uh, D that was just like, all right, so I understand you know the word for cow in Kiowa. And I said, Bevo. <laughs> She's like, Kenny's twisting your leg at same bow. And then that's how I got my Kiowa name. And, and he didn't know who Bevo was. His mother oh, did, but he didn't. <laughs> same bow. Bevo. And I know that little oh, red buffalo. Bevo. Um... You're full of bull. <laughs> bull is uh, um, they honey ten bow in it. They honey ten bow. Oh, oh. And it's so There's no people. <laughs> <laughs> Texas, he's Texas mascot. People. Now, Texas I cattle. <laughs> No, no meeting next Wednesday, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, spring break. Yeah. Spring break. Yeah. Um, so we'll meet again on March 22nd. So two yeah. weeks from now. Mm -hmm. And then um, the, uh, meeting with Dane before that, huh? Before on the 22nd. I've got uh, yeah. Credentialing board on your high yeah. And Warren does want us to have class on Monday to keep it consistent since it's just once a month. So we will be having class district seven, seven o'clock in person, eight o'clock online. 
Good tag, yeah. Awesome. All right. Any any questions? Anything else before we wrap up? Am I the only one from this district? Are y'all using um, Jacob's office and former office? Yes, it's District 7 office. I don't know even know where, I don't know where I belong now. Y'all moved out. You can join us, Grandma. Huh? You can join us. Mm -hmm. I just been going to everything I can. Oh. <clears throat> so, how did we do? Pretty good. You guys pronounce well. <laughs> Pretty good. You took a couple more of those, and I'd write you all this being ready. <laughs> well, you're in luck because we will be doing a couple more <laughs> between now and May. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's wonderful to all of you. Mm -hmm. Nobody says anything. Mm -hmm. And then I'm, I'm a big mouth because I talk too much. Mm -hmm. Oh, we don't mind, Grandma. Um, uh, Melody. Hyundai. Hyundai, I'm psyched though. Hyundai. Are we going to have a, a session to where it's uh, um, open, free Kiowa, just free free conversation? Yeah. Oh, that's that's the goal for our last immersion session at the end, um, like in May, um, probably either right before we everyone does the credentialing or maybe right after. But basically where we would open up and we would put the little sign up that we're not talking English and then everyone would just free for all talk to each other but only in kiowa so that's the goal and we'll see if we can do it i think uh, our credentialing board feels pretty confident in us so mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll just keep okay. practicing do it okay thank you oh all right well uh for um our learners if uh if any of y'all have any ideas or suggestions or feedback on today um, you know, maybe suggestions on what we can do differently, what we can improve on, you know, give me an email, let me know, uh, or message me, you know, how to get a hold of me. Um, definitely would appreciate that. But um, ha appreciate everyone for joining. And so let's see, right now to uh, wrap us up, uh, let's see, uh, Max, oh, a ho dum oyam dog e. Um, pedo, kida, gaon. Tola and da, honde gasa me. Yat de, con on de him dot sa, da. Um, e, ka on ta. Hi at all, ta. Dokul con on a da. Poke e, oh boy, ta. E ha, de dom tie. Take a compa, they don't tie. On cape, con on, but do. They get date the dog. Keep on dog, em dog. A ho, my own day dog, e. Obaha. Ho. 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 Awesome. Well, everyone enjoy the week, the week off. Uh, well, I guess maybe everyone can join the Norman session if you're looking for a session to join on Monday. I saw that posted uh, on the Kiowa Tribe Facebook and on the Kiowa website. So something to do. So yes, I agree. It was a lot of fun. Um, and let's do this again in a few weeks. Um, so I'm going to send out a follow-up email with our recording. And then I'm going to send out the Learn Kiowa Level 2 Lesson 3 for everyone to study for March 22nd. And then we'll pick back up with our practicing. And also uh, think about um, if you'd like to use breakout rooms um, as we get closer to May to credentialing, uh, we could use breakout rooms to uh, practice and to um, have everyone, you know, practice on, you know, conversations and stuff. So, Mary, right. hey, okay. okay, go ahead, Courtney. 
Okay, um, I was just gonna share a tip for studying your kinship. Um, oh. Save it in your phone. This past, well, I had done it whenever we were studying for level one, but whenever I would um, text or, or in my contacts, it, any of uh, my relatives that I could put the, the uh, kinship terms to, I put that in my phone contact so that you see it all the time. And then it's kind of fun to hear Siri pronounce the um, names. <laughs> Siri can talk, my Siri can talk Kiowa, eh? <laughs> um, uh <-huh. laughs> But um, yeah, I noticed that really helps because uh, what I was doing is, um, is I would always be trying to call my cousin by her Kiowa name from her Facebook name or from how she has it on Facebook, but I didn't have her like that in my cell phone. So then I was like, oh, I got to change her name on my cell phone. So I'm like making sure I'm calling her because I'd always be putting her name in there. But um, then I thought, oh, this would work for kinship terms. And it, it does, it helps. So um, save them, save every, all your relatives in your phone with the kinship term that is, goes with them. Oh, oh. Kiowa language hack. <laughs> <Don't> oh. <laughs> uh -oh. And Siri will will learn Kiowa. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I love that. So, huh? Courtney, uh, what are, huh. Courtney, what are you making? What are you beating? Oh, um, I'm beating some hair ties. Oh, here, Ooh. Courtney, yes. hold it up. Let me uh pin. Let me pin it. Let me spotlight you. Courtney, can I order one for <laughs> Turn it around again. I want to trace it. I said I'm trying to speed bead so I could get through some projects. <laughs> awesome. Thank I, you. I got uh -oh. um, I have 12 shawls that I volunteered to help. Uh, we're making shawls for the Weatherford uh, JOM students, the Native American Club. They, the Shine and Arapaho tribes, uh, their Tradition Not Addiction program donated them. And so me and some other moms, we split them up. So I have 12 of them. So that's going to be what I'm going to be trying to work on is hurrying up and getting those um, hemmed up. So anyway, that'll be a, that's a project. Where do you um, get your fringe? Uh, from I ordered uh for, for ordered, my, yeah. I ordered it from a sharps sharps Indian store and pawn yeah. shop. They they have the pre cut eighteen inch um yeah. fringe, so that's I what I. I don't like uh cutting you know using the spool and trying to cut all it just takes forever. Uh, I can't do that. <laughs> the, I like um, the eighteen inch. I'm I'm trying to get a pink one done, and I ran out of white fringe. Grandma, the, I have some extra white fringe. I'll bring it by you. Oh, the Comanche, um, I, I had to call. Put, oh, sorry. Oh gosh, yeah, I had every not every color, but I'm <laughs> out of white. I'll bring I, by I some it. tomorrow, Grandma. Okay, and I heard I it was high at McKee's. I usually get mine at Comanche at the museum. Yeah, they're the they're the cheapest, I think. Because yeah. I was going around. There's How much are they over there? Yeah. Five dollars a yard. Oh, yeah. wow. That's awesome. Five a yard. There's, you're not going to find that price anywhere, I'll tell mm -hmm. you. And I don't think they tax. <gasps> nice. I'll have to make a trip down there to Lawton. <laughs> is, is there a Comanche discount on top of it? Oh, <laughs> yeah, there is. I'm talking there about two, two fifty. Yeah. I don't think it's two fifty, but there is a discount. They had a good, go buy it. good selection of books too when I went the last time. That's really awesome. good ones. They'll be good to check out. A little shop on the you know end of the Museum of the Great Plains. Not their tourist place. This is on the, I think. That Ferris. Oh. Awesome. I, I do have a credentialing question though. Monday. Um, 
So when Dane was on earlier, did he talk about the pronouns? <laughs> That's my scary one. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, let's see. Don't be a part of it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, oh, go ahead, Courtney. I was going to say, did he touch on it this time or was it just that a, a couple weeks ago that it's just yeah. more, more nouns? Right. He said there's going to be more nouns um, and we would use um, all of the pronouns. So instead of just limiting them, um, it'll be like kind of more expanded. And he said uh, he'll be posting the new pronouns PowerPoints to the uh, this credentialing study material uh, Google Drive. He'll put that there. And then um, he said when it gets closer, he'll come back on and give us a, an update on you know, kind of what specifically to study. So yes, it'll be more nouns, like more vocabulary, he said. It'll be kind of okay. expanded. Okay. So. All right, but, but the same pronouns, just all of them. Ha, huh. yeah. Okay, the same that's on the chart, just using all of them, okay. Right, right, with, okay. with different nouns, with different nouns, and yeah. So that'll be, uh, and he said, I haven't looked at the study folder uh, in a couple of days, but you know, he said he'll be updating that. And so maybe next time we can have him go over any updated materials um, that he has. So, but that's something that I need to study for too, is I, I always have to pull my cheat sheet out. I'm gonna have to write them on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to, I, I put, was it, kind of put it inside that. right here. <laughs> Jeez. be like tim said have all your sticky notes all over the <laughs> all over <laughs> start oh. sweating and no <laughs> yep oh man well i better I let y'all go um <laughs> but really appreciate it. oh go ahead sorry that's one off no, I was just have guilty written right here, but try to do something. <laughs> yeah, me too. I can't do that. I'll, it'll be too obvious if I do it. <laughs> chasing me like every time I go to Walmart, you're chasing somebody. <laughs> I call them my 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 boys from down the street. Poor things. Aww. About five or six of them, they're still still around. Man. Well, I better let everyone go so you can get back to uh, doing what you need to do this evening. Um, but aho de bat ha. And hega uh, ba oi on the March 22nd. Hega. Uh, Hey, about oi, don't ta thumb. Oh, 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 everybody have a good oh. oh, oh, I'm out. I'm sure you're a good teacher, Ramon. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, thank you, appreciate it. <laughs> Max, and there's uh. Mr. Yegu, I remember when he was going to Iran, Iraq. Gosh. Oh. All right. Have a good one. Yeah, study hard so we can hurry up and get y'all in there. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh.